Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 4 reaction. Okay, the previous episode we went on our first uh, Forger Family outing. <laughs> and uh, like you know, uh, Yor joined us and uh, Yor uh, like, you know, got in, uh, started living with uh, Anya and uh, Twilight and now they're a family. Their uh, marriage is always almost done. Like they even like I know they got it like you know signed like you know registered and everything. Uh, but there's one thing that they as have actually not told the um like you know their marriage and like you know announced it to everyone else, which they'll need to do. And obviously the setting here is that they have been married for one year, so this will be a little tricky, especially to the people who know your, for example, her brother. Uh, but I'm sure they'll like you know figure it out what to do. But uh, in the previous episode, we want, went on an outing, and uh, <laughs> Twilight was trying to uh, make Anya, uh, you know, learn and like you know like kind of teach her what to say when uh, during the uh, day of the admission to the new school and uh, <laughs> but anya and yo they have their own peculiarities and all and for uh, like you know like twilight was like oh my god like what have i gotten myself into but it was a like you know fruitful little uh, like you know uh, outing because quite a few things happened and uh, uh, by the end of it we kind of get into a more troublesome situation someone uh, gets uh, old lady's uh, purse pickpockets her uh, so Yo jumps in and gets tries to get to that person and with Anya's help which uh, obviously Anya did not make it seem as if she helped us you know she helped uh, Twilight she just kind of like you know tricked her in uh, tricked him into uh, like you know just pointed out towards the restaurant and said I'm hungry which is why he was able to find out the culprit very quickly and uh, yeah we were able to capture that person and the old lady was very happy and we kind of get to like you know see how a good family they are like you know these three how they click so well together and uh, yeah this is the start of a very beautiful relationship so let's see what happens in this episode this is episode number four of spy family let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is a preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one Ooh. All right. All right, let's Oh, today is the day. All right, here we go. <laughs> Anya just Okay, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> now, all right, the prestigious school's interview. This has been fun. Wow. Yeah. All arrivals, true. <laughs> <That too. laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's like that guy who always. Oh no. Oh, Anya can. <laughs> oh, everyone's. Oh, everyone's observing every. No, wait. What the? Oh, they have already started. Yeah, scoring them. Oh my god. Exam has already begun. Wow. Yeah. It's already failed. Oh, this is the guy. No, no, this is the other person. Never mind. Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot about the whole. Okay. Oh, who is he looking at? Anya is very... Oh! Yes! Yep. Yeah, like, Lloyd is very... Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Okay. So barely passed thirty one. <laughs> yeah, but you just said, you know. No, one year. Okay. Like Okay. Hold on. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Come on, go on, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's for merits. Oh my god. They they're using the kids. Ah. Uh, but this is yes. Oh, wait. Oh. No, did they like bring a spare clothing or something? Anya can read minds, so. Yes, I knew it. There you go. <laughs> they even change in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Elegant. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is. All right, let's see what now. Oh no. <laughs> okay, what do we do now?
information D. Wait. Oh no, what happened? Is that really an emergency? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, the dad. Oh no, everyone's. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh. Is she going to kick? She's going to kick. Oh, never mind. Pressure point. Okay. Makes sense. Damn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow, this guy is this guy's gonna be a riot. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. What? What's happening here? Some other person? Oh my god, he... he... okay. Put a transmitter in it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he was not nervous. Yeah. Oh my god, Anya is freaking out. Anya is freaking out. Okay, the, the, the headmaster is here, or what was his name? Housemaster? This guy. Alright. Malcolm House Housemaster. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. Wait, he said this schools. <laughs> true, everything's true, you know.
Okay. The guy in the middle doesn't. Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, what? Arrogant, greedy, callous. Okay, makes sense. Okay. <laughs> oh wow, great. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, okay, I guess. We want the best for our child. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and that as well. There you go, nice. I, I doubt the... Personality elegant. Strength and weaknesses. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hmm. Oh, this is a problem. Oh yeah, yeah, he he, he can. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Well, this okay. We need to. Oh my god, keep in mind that this is happening a long time ago. So I understand the people, the way they're talking like this. Oh my god, but still, it feels weird like you know, seeing these people just objectify. Oh god. Great. <laughs> oh. All right. <coughs> All right. <laughs> this <is> oh. <laughs> okay. He talks. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, calm down. Don't say that, Anya. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, she's curious, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay. Don't. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Civil. Civil. 
Score. Okay. Hm. Oh my god. Okay. You need to slap this person now. Yeah. Oh my god. This guy, like, like, can people? Oh, I guess he's one of the. Come on, no. Great. <coughs> oh, no. That's not what she's... Oh! Yep. There you go. Damn. Shut the hell up. Someone please fire this guy, even if he's like some higher up person or something. What trash? Shut the hell. Yeah, there you go. Nice. God. <sighs> yeah people like, yeah people like that uh, she, uh, she's probably afraid that that he's going to leave her or something oh my god yeah she, she's afraid of that <laughs> oh my god. Half glasses. Yeah, majority, you know. <laughs> oh my god oh no i'm sure it'll be fine <laughs> i'm sure it'll be fine those two as anya said will probably do something 
Like, <clears throat> here's the thing. These people also need to think about the, what do you call it? Uh, the actual reputation of the institute. Like a person like that, that, that person in the middle is like, you know, it's a, what can I say? Liability to their reputation. Like, you know, I understand he is like a big shot or something. I understand that. Like, you know, his grandfather or whatever the hell was like former grandmaster principal. He said something like that. So I know I understand that. And he said something about like, oh, who gives a financial covering for this or something he said. I understand all of that. But, you know, like, yeah, I, I feel like, like a person like that. Like, you know, being a liability to their reputation is definitely going to make the other instructors do something to stop uh, like you know, stop that person from influencing the decisions of who is going to get in or who's going to get i don't know if i'm able to properly explain this but okay let's see if there's something else no no that's it yeah what i'm trying to say is i'm pretty i'm pretty sure like the the other two uh they will probably like you know see this like we saw the four, like you know uh, twilight uh, saying that um we came here because <clears throat> we know this is the best school the instructors uh, and the instructors here are like you know disciplined nice they are respectable and that's why we chose this school and uh, like you know that shows how high the reputation is of this school so uh, a person like that you know being as an instructor of that school, that person, I forgot his name, Swan, I think was his name or something. Um, him being as an instructor of the school and doing stuff like this is definitely going to lower the reputation of the school. I'm pretty sure he did this not only here, but a multiple times and, you know, like probably to the other uh, students as well who are trying to get in. He, he probably did the same thing. He probably misbehaved with them as well. So, like, you know, imagine the the amount of uh, loss of reputation that this is going to make this school go through. So seeing that in itself, I'm pretty sure all the other instructors most probably will do something to take some step you know, on that person so that that person doesn't do this anymore or something. I don't know, like, you know, because like it defeats the purpose if the school's reputation falls down because how like you know we understand that he's like a very person in a very high like you know what do you call it hierarchy or whatever you know his grandfather was the principal or whatever i understand that but the school in itself is the reason why he's able to sit here and just you know like enjoy his power since the school exists, he exists. If the school doesn't exist, he wouldn't exist at all. He would be a nobody. So the school's reputation falling in itself will be a big problem. So I really hope they do something about this guy because, yeah, like, I, I doubt he, they, he can be fired. I was talking like when I was watching and reacting to the show, I was saying like, oh, can't he be fired? But I'm pretty sure he cannot be fired. <laughs> But at least we can shut him down, you know, like that's probably something we can do. It probably cause more problems in the future as well. Like, you know, I'm sure we'll, we'll get in this school. We're probably going to get accepted. So after getting accepted, I'm pretty sure he, he's going to continue this bull crap. And <clears throat> he'll probably like, you know, make a target on Anya and, you know, like probably try to mess with her bully hair or something. He's definitely going to do that. So yeah like that that will definitely be a problem in the future but we'll see about that first we need to get in <laughs> we need to pass the test or the interview not the test the inter interview <clears throat> all right now again you know like in that portion when he said something like oh like you know you are supposed to be in the kitchen you know like it's so what can i say like you know again like you know like we sometimes forget that this show is actually happening in the 16 1600s or something i think and <clears throat> and during that time 
like you know this whole objectifying people because of their you know their uh, like you know gender and like and this whole thing was a problem a big problem and that's probably the reason why like you know like us people in the 21st century seeing this we will probably be very uncomfortable and him just saying that at that moment was something that was I was like what the hell is this guy even speaking and then yeah like look for forger uh, not forger sorry what's his name lloyd lloyd i always forget his name lloyd himself said which i would like you know which which was the correct response to that like you know quest like an answer uh, question he said that there are people have their strengths and weaknesses just like how i cook my wife does the uh cleaning and everything she's really good at that so <clears throat> You know, like you should not like you know try to like you know comment on that like you know like you should not try to judge other people based on what they do and this this and that so lord lloyd gave a very <coughs> perfect answer at that moment so <coughs> yeah like these things like my god like i i genuinely was not aware i did not know like in the, i think in the first episode i was kind of unaware and like I, I could see like you know that the whole setting is a little bit uh you know like a few years ago but i really didn't understand that this was happening you know like in the 1600s so a lot of the things really confused me i'm like what is happening why are people like this here but then when i realized that this is happening in the 1600s i'm like all right so their behavior makes a little bit sense because this is happening quite a while ago this is not happening in the modern times so you know like the, how they were like you know judging her because she was not married at that age you know these type of things these type of show, social norms i think that's what you call them which were very uh, like you know prevalent during those times you know that's going to happen here i'm pretty sure not only this episode in the upcoming future episodes as well like you know stuff like this will come up now and then so yeah these we will will have to like you know kind of mm -hmm just like how lloyd acted appropriately at that moment the way he handled the situation they'll need to handle that all these situations like that further onwards and uh yeah we'll see but anyways um uh this episode's big uh, episode begins with them getting ready and we can see that anya is trying to change her speech pattern <laughs> the way he speak she's speaking has it's kind of changed and it's a little bit goofy in a way the way he's she's speaking he's trying to be polite but <laughs> the words are getting jumbled up you know when she's talking um <clears throat> so yeah we get into the eden academy like you know and the test has already begun you know everyone started scoring everyone just looking at them and everyone's just judging them based on the the way they're walking the way they're talking the way they're behaving and uh, like you know like just getting in a few of them are getting like you know are, are being failed and they're like oh this person failed like you know escort that person out like this is what's happening and uh obviously um uh, lloyd realizing like you know kind of feeling the senses like everyone looking at him you know he him realizing that he was able to gauge that situation and he was able to realize that they have already started the test so he was able to act accordingly and since he was thinking about it you know Anya was also able to catch what is actually happening so listening to his thoughts Anya was also like you know kind of acting a lot appropriately like you know kind of uh, watching the way he walks and she walks and all and obviously Yor also realizes what's happening because she she's also an assassin she, she can feel what are like you know like people are looking at her so perfect family for like you know like, you know per the way they have been like you know they are is perfect for this type of situation because everyone like three of them knew what's happening and like you knew that you had to do whatever lloyd does you know has to, has to follow lloyd like that's what was happening lloyd is very accustomed to these type of things because he's a spy so he knows how to like you know kind of adapt to a situation kind of get into like you know like a uh, like a you know, melt in into uh like you know in, into the crowd i think that's what you call it um so he he's like all right first let's go to this statue probably someone who is um like you know the i think the headmaster or whatever i think that was the headmaster statue wasn't it 
What statue was that? Okay, um, the reach that statue. <clears throat> statue of the founder. Okay, yeah, founder. There you go. So, uh, Lloyd goes there and paying the respects. Seeing that, Yor also follows because Yor is like, all right, like let's do what Lloyd is doing. Let's just follow him. And Anya obviously can read minds, so Anya is also doing that. So perfect. Like they didn't even need to say anything to each other. You know, like mental connection, literally mental connection. <laughs> because Anya can read minds, you know, <laughs> and yeah, they were able to pass that whole section very nicely. You know, the guy. Well, what's his name? What's the uh, the person? Um, the person with the monocle. What's his name? Um, let's see if I can find his name. <clears throat> Just a sec. Uh, Housemaster. Eden College Housemaster. They didn't give his name out. I can't find his name. Anyways, I'm going to call him Housemaster. Alright. So, the Housemaster, he sees that and he's like all right these people are elegant and then he sees the uh, the written like you know <laughs> the handwriting of the, the, the test and he's like what the hell like you know this girl like, barely passed the exam with a score of 31 and the handwriting is bad so he's like like what like you know like i, I need to keep a more like you know eye on these this family and <laughs> Now we kind of get to see like you know a few tests were given and it's funny to see like you know one of the students there was Acting like that because he wanted more credits <laughs> she, He was thinking like oh, I need more credits. That's why he was doing this as an errand I'm guessing um the guy like you know, he was stuck in the the, the thing <laughs> And everyone was just passing by now. Here's the thing if people pass by you know like uh, m m uh, minus points and Lincoln points will be get deducted from their elegance. Uh, but if they try to go help him, you know, they're going to get dirty themselves. So again, you know, that will also take points of elegance. So what to do? Help that person out or not? Now, uh, the correct answer would be here to do it in a way that you are able to help that person. And at the same time, uh, you, know, you don't get yourselves dirty. So that was probably what the housemaster was looking for. But... The Forger family, it just comes and just <laughs> yanks him out. There's the mud all over their like you know faces and their clothing. And the house must have like ah oh, like I kind of thought that these people were good. Uh, no, they're not good enough. He tries to go away, but then sees that they already had a spare clothing. And I knew it would be something like that. They were they would already be ready because. This, this is a spy and this is an assassin we're talking about you know a spy definitely needs spare clothing you know they need disguises while an assassin probably needs spare clothing as well because uh, you know like the blood splatter and everything got, gets gets to the dresses so you need to change you know <laughs> after <laughs> like you know uh, taking care of your target so yeah they they were ready with it and obviously since they brought spare clothing from themselves they also brought spare clothing for anya so there you go like and no problem and the headmaster uh, house master was like perfect this is perfectly elegant <laughs> now the second uh, task random like you know animals just start <laughs> rushing towards them and the house master was like oh my god is this like you know like we didn't tell so many of them to like you know come here why is there so many animals what happened it was a real accident something happened and this was a real accident so like you know like obviously the house master was concerned because there's like you know really like you know big like you know big shots here uh, uh people from some high you know like what do you call it, high places them with their, their family over here so if something happens to them oh boy it'll be a scandal so but fear not the forger family is here you know um <laughs> Yor just uses her pressure point technique, you know, like, just <laughs> hits, it, hits the cow in this pressure point and it goes down. And 
it's kind of nice to see Anya actually go to the cow and because Anya can probably now you know what I do wonder like uh, I'm guessing she she probably doesn't isn't able to pro like you know think what animals are th thinking like she, even though she can telepathically hear listen to what other people are saying he, she probably can get a feeling of what animals are feeling you know it's a more vague way like because humans can talk their thought processes come in like you know uh an actual language you could say they, they kind of like you know we think in our mind in a proper way that's how anya can telepathically tell what people are thinking about but for animals i guess that's a little bit different my guess is as i said she probably gets a feeling of what the animals are thinking probably if the animal is sick he'll she'll probably be able to understand the animal is sick or if it's scared she'll be able to understand this the animal is scared so that's why she was like oh like you know the cow is scared and she kind of goes there and kind of pats the cow it's like it's okay please don't be scared and the cow is like just gets up and just goes away and yeah and the housemaster was like elegant perfect <laughs> oh my god and and like you know your distance you used her pressure point technique like you know a few of her, her clothes has been torn so the housemaster was like all right so you cannot thank you so much for helping us out here and you know like we were kind of postponing the whole uh, interview so you go and like you know take your time like change your clothing and you know and they are like not to worry we knew something like with this would happen another spare clothing <laughs> and the housemaster was like this is not elegant anymore this is scary <laughs> oh my god oh boy and then starts the whole bull crap um interview uh he's all like you know uh, lloyd already had a little bit of a butt place so he was able to listen to what the questions were being asked um <laughs> what kind of says like i've not been so concerned uh up until now like even when there was like a one second left for the missile to launch i was not this much concerned and an interesting thing he says here is that this is the first time he is actually relying on someone else for the future of his him and up until this time his future was in his hands but now his future is in someone else's hands which is so interesting to see you know the kind of think about because this whole anime is basically that you know up until now not only lloyd but your as well well had their future in, in their hands but now their futures are interconnected you know like everyone's connected like they're a family now so you know like your and lloyd both of them are placing the future of what they're going to do or you know the the, the fate of them in each and everyone's hands like you know the, the kind of like you know your is putting her fate in Lloyd's hands and Anya's hands uh, while Lloyd is putting his fate in Anya and your hands and Anya as well like you know to both her parents so it's funny because this is going to be from like you know this is what's going to be from here onwards Lloyd will never be like I guess there will sometimes come when his fate will lie on his hands but most of the times it will be interconnected with the two of them the three of them so that's basically what's going to happen from here onwards and uh, yeah <laughs> but anyways um so they get in and he kind of like you know kind of profiles the three of them uh, the one on the right is a good person you know like she, he is a uh, very nice um what do you call him uh calm mild-mannered a, a nice person kind person <laughs> while the one in the middle is like um like you know very nasty you know like uh, like what what did they tell about him um i can't find that part but yeah like you know the <laughs> the adjectives that were used to refer to him was something like uh like you know jealous yeah jealous uh and uh something i forgot anyways like you know yeah like he, he's not a good person while the one on the left is elegant, you know, the, the housemaster, the, the monocle, uh, the monocled old man. <laughs> so, yeah, this, these were the three. And uh, 
the one in the middle was kind of like you know using like you know uh, kind of uh, putting out his anger on others because his wife left him um, obviously I'm, I'm i can probably guess why she left him uh, it's pretty apparent after watching this episode so yeah and a few other reasons now so the one they had to keep an eye out on was for the person in the middle so what do we do then just ignore him you know like he, he might kind of like you know kind of ask them and like you know questions which will be uncomfortable and kind of try to make them lose their like you know anger so just ignore that person they thought that yeah everything will be fine and uh, the one in the right starts asking questions there were a few interesting questions that she asks um okay i think the first question was uh, what was it uh, oh where did you me meet i think yeah that's what he asked where did you two meet and Lloyd says like oh we met in a tailor's like I feel like this this was the part where he kind of messed up he said something like I we met in the in, in the tailor's shop where uh like you know I went to like you know to buy the school uniform or something he said and I'm like wait a minute he just said that because like you know like like it, it, that would mean that he married her because they wanted to go into get into the school wanted the, his daughter like that was like the whole thing about this wasn't it that so that that doesn't happen you know, they they forged a fake uh, marriage certificate which has like you know then been married for one year but I, I felt like that portion was a little bit i don't know like he kind of slipped up or something but anyways they didn't think much about that they were like all right okay and uh, the, he like you know, also asked on uh your about how he feels about that this marriage and all that and she talks about how lloyd is a you know kind-hearted person seeing him uh and your uh, and and anya she she you know she she liked them and yeah they're, they're, like you know they're, they're they're nice they're a nice family and and that's why i got attracted to them both and we got married obviously the person in the middle is like oh i'm so happy that you were like you know such a loving family and starts like you know kind of making um unusual comments and okay uh where is it okay so yeah so this was the start of that whole thing of that person being a complete uh yeah complete um like another big problem but lloyd was like all right like you know i know that this guy will be a problem so let's just get this over with let's just keep my cool i'm accustomed to this so the person uh you know uh they also ask them about uh what is the strengths of anya i think and uh, they answer like oh <laughs> lloyd is like anya can sometimes almost read minds <laughs> anya was like oh my god like <laughs> oh that was kind of funny and uh, your talks about how she spoiled Anya a little bit at the beginning since she would like her but now she uh, like, you know, wants to be more strict with you know Anya and the guy in the middle is like oh what kind of meals do you cook at home and uh, oh my god like here, here's the whole thing you know like then Forger uh, Lloyd was like oh like you know my wife doesn't cook I cook the guy was like what you don't cook and oh my god now if you guys remember there was like in the in the second episode i think yeah we, we kind of saw how anya is kind of insecure uh, not anya sorry uh, how yor is kind of insecure about being unable to do anything other than cleaning you know like you remember that scene when he said something like oh a person like me how can i even get like you know someone as my partner because the only thing i can do is cleaning and uh, this probably this 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 comment probably bothered her so much at this moment Th this guy was basically prodding in her insecurity and you know like yeah thankfully lloyd kind of diffused the situation at that moment he was like oh everyone has their like you know advantages their, their the way they can look at weaknesses and like you know strength so I don't think like you know i don't think of it like that and my wife can really clean well so we we do what we are best at but obviously the guy in the middle was like oh but yeah she is supposed to cook like blah 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 and you're was like okay it's okay like you know no need to get heated up about this 
and uh, now <laughs> one thing we should look at this like you know like kind of kind of see here is that first of all um twilight here says that uh why are you getting irritated like you know this is just a fake family like you like you know you're supposed to focus on the mission and we should look at the, this whole thing and we can see one thing here is that each and every one of them actually got annoyed when that guy commented on someone else like lloyd got mad on anya and uh, yours behalf your got mad at anya's behalf when he was you know like uh, when that guy was uh, kind of uh, making comments on your your herself was was not mad but as soon as he brings anya in into that whole thing your goes completely crazy uh, lloyd also goes crazy so this really shows how like you know good of a family their bonds are so strong now that you know like like you know, they're, they're, they're actually thinking about themselves as a family and each person gets mad on the other person's behalf and that's really nice to see here all right so they were able to kind of calm down there um then they ask where do you live this that and <laughs> anya's kind of like you know fumbling with the words i feel like they they realize that the teachers but they are not well, like i'm thinking much about that because anya is like you know a little kid so obviously she is going to get like you know a little bit uh you know like tongue tied while talking in these type of situations so i i feel like they kind of deliberately ignored that because she was <laughs> she was kind of fumbling with her words and uh, kind of messing up the words okay now a few of the questions that they were asking anya and one of the questions i, I found that part, part very funny where <laughs> <laughs> when she talks about like you know like what did she say like yeah getting through the jungle with no supplies and dancing with death over and over to get brave and <laughs> the housemaster the monocle housemaster was like oh such incredible resolve and then you know when uh they <laughs> ask her like what is your goal she since she reads minds always and tries to like you know find out like another answer she obviously all the time reads lloyd's mind and brought out his goal that oh i want to go to the like you know i want to find out who the boss is and kind of what, what did she say something like that like yeah get close to the boss and he, she said something like that which lloyd was extremely extremely concerned at that moment and uh, like you know the guy the the uh, house master was like oh you want to become the you know like all, all you want to become like the headmaster the founder you know you you want to uh, like you know your your uh, sights are already that high that's elegant definitely and that that whole part was a little bit comedic you know they were kind of misunderstanding that whole thing <laughs> and i was trying her best while at the same time you know like the one on the left the housemaster was like, oh, this girl is so elegant. Like, you know, at this young age, she's amazing. And, uh, all right. So now here where everything starts, the bullcrap starts. Um, they ask her, like, how much points would you give your mom and dad? She says, like, 100 points. Uh, like, you know, I love my mom and dad. I would, I would live, like to live with them forever. And the guy in the middle starts the bullcrap. He's like, ah, oh, like, you know, so what do you think? You know, what, who would you give more points to your former mother or this mother? And, oh my God. And, uh, like, Anya started crying over there because obviously, because she, I, I don't know what happened to her mom and dad, even if, like, you know, she, there's probably a huge backstory over there, which we'll get to know in the future. And as soon as he, she heard that, those words, she remembered probably her birth parents and uh, whatever happened to them she got reminded of that and uh, that's why she started crying and the guy in the middle was so out of order he was just like oh so like ah you're crying at this and uh, since you're crying it would mean your this mom is not good enough like and he, he keeps like you know kind of riling up that whole situation um lloyd gets extremely pissed off and so does your Yor was almost going to stab him or something and the guy was still riling them up. 
Now, before you do does something, Lloyd himself just punches the, the, the table and just breaks it. Oh my god. And uh, he, he just gets up and he's like, let's get out of here. And he says that, what, what does he say? Like, I'm afraid. Okay, here we go. If making light of a parent's a child's feeling is part of your establishment's educational policies, then I'm afraid we have chosen the wrong school. Like, yeah, basically that. Like, I'm pretty sure this guy did stuff like this before as well, because uh, both the other two seemed fed up with him. He probably did this, like, you know, these type of things with other people as well, misbehaved with them as well. And he just keeps talking crap about how uh, his, like, you know, like, you know, his grandfather or whatever, was a former uh, my father's influence within the school is still strong there you go his father was like some uh, headmaster or something he keeps bringing that up and it's like it'd be wise for you two to mouth watch that mouth of yours and keeps saying that and yeah like i like i really don't know what to do the, with these type of people because we can see that he is someone with influence and uh, at the same time he is also the reason of probably the decrease in the reputation of this school the way he behaves i'm pretty sure this happened with other families as well and those families are probably talking about this and like you know spreading rumors that oh this happened in this school and this is how they behaved with us misbehaved with us and if, if, like you know if this guy continues to do whatever he is doing this is going to continue and then one day the school will like you know time will come when the reputation will be just over and I don't know, like, you know, what he's going to do after that. So I'm pretty sure everyone realizes that. He himself probably doesn't realize that only. And all the other re person realizes that. So I genuinely wonder, what do you do with this type of a person? I genuinely wonder. Like, you cannot fire this guy. So what do you do? You know? Like, <laughs> I really have no idea. I'm kind of curious about, like, you know, how they're going to deal with this guy in the future. Because here we can see, like, you know, the monocled uh, housemaster. He just goes and punches him. <laughs> now I do wonder if there'll be any repercussions to this because he did say that he is like you know like since he's a, uh, in a position of influence so I do wonder if there'll be any repercussions to this so we'll see about that you know like and that's how we'll be able to realize how much powerful is this guy is this guy just yapping like, you know or is does he really control that much power because the thing that he says here is like my dad has power he talks about his dad. He himself doesn't have any power. His dad has that influence. So I do wonder if that person, you know, his, his dad actually condones his son doing these type of things here. You know, like I'm guessing since that person was the headmaster here, he was probably a person of the kind of good uh, discipline, good, you know, like good manners. I'm hoping this person's dad. So I don't know like you know, if he condones his son's actions then this person the, the 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 person who punched him you know he will probably get into trouble but if the person's dad does not condone this then nothing will happen we'll see about that i'm i'm really curious as to see how much power this guy actually has you know he, he kept talking about power and influence and i do wonder how much he actually has because he's just uh he's just like you know what do you call it just like it's not his power his, it's his dad's power but anyways enough about that and uh, yeah uh, he needed that punch and i'm pretty sure that in the future he'll, he'll do these type of things as well so yeah we'll need to deal, deal with this guy in the future as well which will be a problem but yeah nothing you can do about it anyways um they, they can come back and they're like all sad and all everything now I, I kind of realized here that this like you know, here after this Anna will probably be very concerned because we like, you know she probably remembers before uh, your uh, Lloyd thinking that if this mission fails then I need to do something else you know this family will have to just it will be broken up and she probably remembers that and seeing how this went she and you know she kind of blames herself she thinks that because she cried this is this this is what happened 
and she's concerned that yeah because of that you know the plan will like you know the, the mission will fail and their family will be broken up but obviously lloyd is like ah, we'll see what's going to happen for now let's let's just you know let's just keep our two and yeah that's where it ends so there you go um uh, great episode uh unfortunately there will always be that one person who just messes everything up and here it was person in the middle and uh, oh boy i am not looking forward to further meetings with that guy oh. yeah anyways so that's it thanks for watching oh my god uh, like i i loved it like you know, he got punched i really like that but thinking about the future episodes where we'll probably have to meet him as well again ah kind of <laughs> kind of makes me mad but nothing you can do about it we need to face you know whatever yeah like I, i'll be really happy if, if that guy gets fired or something but i doubt that's going to happen uh, it's not going to happen but anyways uh yeah that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to uh, spy family episode number um four yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of spy family till then goodbye and have a nice day